um, and the scorekeepers will be listening, and they will they will record the scores as the judge uh, calls them out. If there's a tie, do we go back and we'll resolve the tie just like we usually do? Then we'll go to the next group, which you know if we started with color. Then we'll go to monochrome and repeat. Okay. Is everybody clear on that? Okay. Uh, Penny, do you want to talk about um, field trips? <laughs> yes, we have uh, a couple field trips on the schedule. The first one we're trying is uh, June 20th, which is the new moon. And uh, our leader is Greg. Um, he's um, showing us how to shoot the Milky Way or just get, find, uh, showing us a good place to go to do so. Um, back in the Wasna Canyon area, uh, there's very little light leak uh, compared to other areas on the Central Coast. And it's really close to Santa Maria and also up to San Luis Obispo and that for, for those of us that um, live a little bit uh, far away, it it's, uh, hits most of us except for Bonnie. Bonnie's still <laughs> way far, far south. And uh, because essentially it would be just us out there, we can social distance very easily. It'll be a nice uh, uh, chance to see everybody in person. And um, we'll start at 7 p.m. from the Starbucks in Napomo and, and caravan out uh, to the site from there. If you need uh, more information, uh, go to the Galleon. It has things to bring, et cetera. And, um, also contact Greg if you have anything uh, like say if you're going to come late and you don't know where we're headed. Um, we don't have cell phone uh, access out there, so uh, get your questions asked uh, prior to the field trip. Some people might want to bring a camera. Yeah. yeah. Say Penny. Uh -huh. Penny. What? Uh, aren't there a couple Starbucks in Napomo that are very close to each other? Well, there's one inside the Vons, and that's not the one that we meet at. We okay. meet at the one by Miners. It, it, it has the address and in, in the explanation okay. in the galleon. Okay, that's why I want to make sure. Uh, so we meet out front. Um, I don't think they're seating people anyway. Uh, right. Um, so uh, the next one is uh, September 11th is the new date for the Lighthouse, uh, San Luis Obispo uh, Lighthouse uh, sunset photo shoot that Bob Mihalik is putting together with, with his volunteer group there that take care of the Lighthouse. So um, that's with the cost of $40, and that pays for um, our volunteers that are besides Bob that are out there to show us the Lighthouse. Um, that pretty much pay for them, and it's a fundraiser for the uh, lighthouse. Um, that one, uh, there's a flyer that's in the galleon that will explain more. Um, for for me, uh, forty dollars seems a little bit steep, but it's your only chance to get out there at that time of day, and it's a good uh, cost. So I hope that um, you all will come. Uh, the exact de details, like he has in the flyer, that we would be carpooling in and stuff there it might be we're driving separately um, in our vehicles depends on how many people there they have and stuff like that and um i'm looking for ideas for july it's really kind of hard to plan too far ahead and we're just hoping september works um with um the opening of the of the area but we'll figure out something for for uh july Hey, Penny, did you yeah. say that date was September 11th? Yes. It's so a, it's a Friday? Yes, yes, okay. it, is. it is. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what we can do here to confuse things. <clears throat> Oh. 
Okay. Uh, you guys should be seeing. Hmm. Nice. Photoshop. Yeah, let me see. Um, for some reason, it wasn't doing this to us the other day. But it is now. Stop sharing here. It's showing all of your um, grids at the top of the of the screen. When and that we don't want there. So I'm going to unhide. The, I'm going to go into view. We saw your desktop for just a second there. Yeah, panels, hide panels. Oops. View, show participant video. Okay. Now let's go back to share content, share screen. Okay, it's still putting, boy, I don't know. What are we did? Yeah, we can see it now. Um, All the images are on the bottom. Are we? Yeah, what about the top? Yeah, he, he's trying to get rid of the, the thumbs the top. on the top of the people. Right. Yeah, they're at the top on my screen. They're very yeah. small, though. They're not producing. Now, now, you just, now, Greg, you just went to a, a, a black, gr I mean, a, a grid, uh, you know, with nothing in it. Okay, I'm going back. All right, have they disappeared? Nope. No, 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 still there. Still there. Do you still have yours? Do you still have yours on grid? Uh, no. Now they go. Huh? Now yep. they're gone. No, they're no. no They're here on my screen. I see them. Okay. Um. Maybe. Uh, toggle full screen mode. <laughs> if you're on Windows, Alt plus Enter. Right. Okay. That did it. All right. If you're on Apple, it's Shift yeah. Command F. Right. Okay. So everybody now is just seeing uh, my screen and not the uh, yes. the video grid. Okay. So you did. I still see, I still see the grid though. I yeah. mean, I see four. I still see everyone's pictures up at well, the Then you're not getting into full screen mode. Right. Well, the there's a little change. There's a little the arrow. Screen. If you're seeing if you're seeing some like a quadrant or something of people. Yeah. Okay, there's a little arrow to the top left. I see. It says hide video view. Right. And that should take care of it. Good input, Rosie. Have you talked? I've used it before. <laughs> no, I'm not seeing. What are those? So, um, Elaine, in the top corner where you're where you're seeing people. Yeah. Uh, are you seeing four, one, or a strip? Strip. A strip. Okay, so you see how those are over to uh, up in your corner there. There's like, um, well, if you go to the top left corner of that little window, there's a down arrow to the left, far left. I have a circle that says meeting information. I don't have a down arrow. Okay, hmm. so you're, um, that's, are you still on top? Are you still up on top? My uh, picture of us is on the bottom right. Oh, your the picture of yourself, you see. It's if, the picture. I see, I see a grid of everyone else on top. On top. On top, I see a, a strip of one, two, three, four, six of you. Did you did you put did you put it into full screen mode? Yes. And back. And then we went back and out again. Let me see. Yeah. Shift Command F. Wait Changes the screen. <coughs> okay. There's a little box up here. Okay. We still see you, but you're you've moved over to the right. So you see who? Me? You uh I see four people now. 
Okay, now now there's the little arrow on the top left picture. You hover. The top right picture? No, the We're top left, left picture. You got yeah. four? All right. Yeah. Gone. There okay. you go. All right. <laughs> And you, if you still have a little gray bar there, you can drag those bars off to the right of the screen if you want. Yeah. None of those things bothered me personally. I, I don't mind All seeing right. well, that. What, what you're seeing now is what the judge sees. Okay. Which it's got a little gray box up top. That's a block I can't get rid of. On my screen, it says that I'm sharing bridge to you guys. Okay. So we, we step through the images give them a chance to preview. Now on her screen, she was using a Mac, a high-end one. She was seeing all the details. She's seeing the stars in the sky, um, you know, even the tiny ones. So she, she, and she's a professional photographer, so her, and I did ask her, she's color calibrates her monitor. So, uh, Greg, yeah. is she using like a desktop, like a 27-inch or something? Uh, she, she has a laptop as well as a secondary monitor, I believe. Okay. And she's Mac-based. Right. Okay. All right. So, we step through, and now we introduce the picture and uh, give it a name and um, ask them to judge it. And she went ahead and judged each and every one of these. And we can probably go out to the website and show you what it looked, what the result looks like. Tony, do you um, have the link handy? Uh, let me get it for you. Well, I, well what I'm going to do is I, I'll, I'll, at the end of this, I'll let you share your desktop and you can run the video. Uh, uh, Does that work for you? Yeah, I'm on an iPad, though. Oh, okay. Well, um, all right. Um, email me the link then. Yes. All right. So, now let's say. Hello. Now let's say we had a tie. We'd go in and we'd select the items that are in the tie, and allow her to make a choice as to which one she wants in which positions. Okay. And then we move on to the next, which is monochrome. I tell her that there are eight monochromes. We step through them, to let her preview them. Now, are you all seeing that these are nice and clean and crisp on your monitors? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Unlike a lot of you complained the other day that you thought that the images and things were fuzzy. Well, those were images from your video on your computer. Not so. What you're seeing here is straight out of bridge. Um, so, and on my monitor. So, it's um, it should be very crisp and clear. Of course. Look great. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And I gave all of these uh, funny names and assigned them to weird people. <laughs> Cheryl doesn't know it, but she took some of those pictures. So does Ed. Penny took some of those. Scott Kelby took some of them. And Ansel Adams took one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, yeah, the, okay so anyways that that's the procedure and however long it takes um when you guys send me your uh images you need to make sure you send in your uh your comp tags that say you know the name of your image and it's got your name on it I have to build a, a sheet. I have to sort these things, number them, build a score sheet, which I then forward to the scorekeeper via email. And the scorekeeper will keep your scores on that sheet. Um, but I need everything in 
if we're on, if we're doing this on Wednesday, I need everything in by Sunday night. Period. Okay. All right. There's no more of this walking into the meeting at six forty-five and handing me everybody's memory sticks. <laughs> So, Greg, yeah. so when do you think I should send out the reminder on Thursday, Thursday, Wednesday before? Yeah, you know, and I don't care if they come in early. I just don't want them to come in, you know, on Wednesday morning. Right. So we could send it out, you know, a week early or five days early, whatever. Okay, and then I'll send it again to maybe send Saturday night or Sunday morning just yeah. as a reminder. Yeah, a follow up would be really good. That yeah. sounds great, Rosie. Okay. Yeah, the li the link's in your email, Greg. Okay. There's Patty. Yeah. I've got long <laughs> came back in. <laughs> All the meeting's over now, so. I know. I missed everything. <laughs> we talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, let me go check he's my name. Sure. He's not on the video. <laughs> um, where did you send it, Tony? To you. To which email address? Your uh, Google one. Huh. I don't see it. Hang on a minute. Let me double check. <coughs> there it is. I got it. Just took a while to get here. Yeah. So who's doing our scoring that night, Greg? Pardon? The keeper that you're sending them to. Um. All right. Let me see here. I need to get back to. Okay. Go back to the beginning. I see. There it is. This is what we recorded. And Tony was very nice and cleaned it up for us. Yeah, that looks pretty good, Tony. Each one of them. Thank you. It's a great improvement when you move Greg out of it. If you got a screen on it, you should get full screen on the. Uh... Now, our intent is to record these meetings and, and then put this put this video up on our webs on our uh, YouTube site so that you guys can watch if you miss the meeting you can actually watch the uh, judging go on hear the judges comments etc oh that's great you don't you don't have video I mean you don't have audio the... I don't we can see the pictures but we're not hearing anything except for you talking huh weird okay Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah, please. It's very quiet. <clears throat> We're farming, so you're hearing it. No, there's there's no audio on this at all. Oh, okay. I would start this. Is absolutely. Uh, Tony, 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 when you looked it up, it had uh, it had audio. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I'm hearing audio, so. Um, I love the silhouette at the bottom. Well, that's that's interesting because uh oh nyla there's nyla. Yeah, nyla. i don't have any idea what i'm doing i'm just pushing buttons i'm a little late right? Hi, nyla. start over get to see you you know, other than that there are you right there no. <clears throat> Nyla, we're 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 looking at uh, we recorded uh, a dry run with them for competition, and uh, we have a YouTube channel now uh, that we can show that recorded uh, that, that judging, <clears throat> and we're trying to well, well, bring that up right now. The depth. Okay, well, I don't. I don't have the uh, depth of field where it goes back. The only thing that I think would be bottom right hand corner, Greg. Very, very, very what? slight vignetting. Bottom right hand corner. You see the square corners. Bottom because corner that of that. Go down. Uh, left corner down. is a little oh, there. Down. I feel like it's right at the corner to pull your eye away from the image. Who are you talking to? 
This is the judge talking about the image. My only complaint, I love the shiny. No, you see underneath that door, where it says auto 720p, there's a square with, with four gaps in it. This, this is just really beautiful. I would give it a 16. This is uh, Semity Falls by Moonlight. <clears throat> Huh, I don't know why it's not getting you guys the audio. I'm hearing the, the audio now. You see? Yeah, a little bit. It's not real loud. It's not real loud, but I can at least hear it now. I love that there's stars in the sky. Yeah. I wish it were the mountains were a touch crisper. Yeah, we can hear that. Um, yeah. It feels like it might have been um, the contrast pumped on it, but I, but I really can't tell because it is by moonlight. Um, but gee, just make sure you be there and speed up. Um, I would give that an eight. Okay. Okay. This is Merced <clears throat> River by Moonlight. Wow. Um, dang, that, that is really beautiful. Again, the stars are there. Um, and that water looks so <laughs> and soft. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, again, I know I this could be my monitor too. It looks like it could be a little. I'm looking for that one crisp spot in here where it really is the strong focus, and I'm not really finding it on my monitor. Now this it's. That, that could be a difference in monitors. So this could be super crisp, and I'm just not able to see it. So um, with that, I'm going to give it a 17. <clears throat> Milky Way over Wasta Valley. Wow, again, I, I was say I'm kind of a sucker for the Milky Way shots. I, I love the colors in them. Um, and the silhouette, very nice. That's it. That one. There we go. Really done, very crisp. The, uh, and wow, what a lot of stars. My <clears> only <throat> distraction is at the bottom. There are something that's lighter. Um, at least three spots. Um, they could have been burnt down, or I would have liked it even more if the crop were brought up from that bottom and make it more of a of a landscape, a little more landscape. And I think that might make it a stronger image by just cropping those little lighter dots out. Um, golly. Yeah, every time I name a score, I second guess myself the second it comes out of my mouth. Um, I would. <laughs> really, uh, some of these I'm really teetering on. These are challenging. Zabrinsky Point. Wow. The crispness and the colors are absolutely amazing. My my only question on this now is is it tilted? It could be <laughs> tilted for effect, and that's pretty cool too. But if it has been tilted, I would think about tilting it a little less. And because these are such lovely diagonal lines going across it, I would like a little more diagonal leading me to it. But I give that an eighteen. I really, really. Yeah, wow. Beautiful. King Tide. <clears throat> that is gorgeous. Uh, the rocks are, are crisp. The water is, you know, there's no question what's going on with it. Um, uh, and you can, and even the spray is frozen in that moment. It's and it has such a great feel to it. I would give that an 18. Yeah. You don't want to come over here. Yeah. Or I'm kidding you not. First, I'm waiting. Place. 
Oh dear. We have 16, so we will resolve. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh golly. They so each have some sure <laughs> in a second. <clears throat> Different field, but you guys have such excellent photographers too. I would go for the uh, uh, Zabriskie Point. Okay. That, that, the contrast in that really sends me. I will go for a second for uh, Yosemite. That means that we should be ready for third. <clears throat> That's so hard. All three yes. of them are amazing pictures. Yeah, it's, it's always this way. <laughs> well, you guys have a tremendous group of people. I've I've been to several meetings, and I'm always like, wow. We finished this, uh, doing that group. The scorekeepers will tell us that they're ready, and then we start to sequence through them, and we announce who whose image it was, and whether or not it's placed. In the floor. We don't. To actually give it a score, they say, is it for second? Okay. So we'd step through and <clears throat> Farmington, done by Greg Bell. That's beautiful. This is Heckle. That is so cute. This is. Yosemite Falls by Moonlight, and it was done by number three, <laughs> and they're second place, and then we all go, yay! You know? Anonymous person. Yes, and then <laughs> this is the Merced River by Moonlight, and it was done by Ansel Adams. He, you know, he showed up last year. <laughs> This is Gus, <laughs> and he has a lot of trouble doing that these days. Yeah. This is the Milky Way over Wasna by Photo Wait, Guy yes. One. This is the Brinsky Point, and first place, Photo Girl. <laughs> this is King Tide at Pacific Grove. Third place, photo girl two. Yay! So, go to the <clears throat> which is monochrome. Okay. It says it says here on my screen we're detecting background noise from your speaker or m microphone rather, um, but it went away. So maybe that was when I was clapping. Yeah, I'm not hearing it. Maybe I'll see. No, I think it was me. It, it was on my my screen, so I think it was because I clapped. <laughs> okay, in the monochrome green, <clears throat> we have eight entries. First, uh, let me get my list here so I know what. This is called Stop Suey. I, I think this is a really beautifully done uh, picture. I like everything, you know, from the darkness of the sky, and there's even a few stars, to the reflection in the window. 
Um, I love the, the, the change of, there's some real blacks, all the, you have the entire scale there. The only thing I'm not thrilled with is the light. <clears throat> yeah. I, I don't even know what looks strange about it to me, but the light keeps trying to pull my attention away from what I really want to look at, which is the Chicago's Chop Suey building. I mean, my gosh, you can even see the nails in the letters. This is, you know, really excellent. And that wood, I love it. I'm just not thrilled with the light. Um, I would give it a 17. Okay. I really like it. And this is Covered Bridge. And beautiful angle. Love the, the leading lines going diagonally. Really, really nice. The sky. Wow. What a rocking sky you got. I wish the contrast would have gone a little harder under the bridge. I would like to see a little darker black, and I think it might give you a little de more definition in the in the bushes. But, uh, it's it's beautiful. It's well done, and and you know, man, what a the sky is perfect. I wouldn't want a thing changed on that. That's, that's beautiful. Um, Gee, I'm going to go with 18 on it. Okay. This is Arcadia Coastline. Beautiful. The rocks are so crisp. There's a nice tonal change. You got your blacks, you got your whites. Awesome stuff. Um, I'm not sure exactly where my point of interest is supposed to go, but, but because there's so much interesting to it, I keep I keep floating around, and that's a good, that could be a very good thing too. Um, I think you have that in eighteen. <clears throat> this is the bug light. Okay, wow, I really like that one. Nice, nice scale. This is about the time in judging. I feel like I'm going on brain overload. Um, I like that the the lighthouse is not in the center. That adds to the interest of this so much. Um, I'm going to go 19 on this one. Okay. Uh, I love the, 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 um, um, the okay the treatment on this is gorgeous. The bricks in it, the rock, the stonework of the fort. I mean, you know, my gosh, you can see everything on it. It doesn't look like it was shot in an exceptionally good time of day because of the harsh shadow, but you got all this great um, change in color on it. Unfortunately, it wasn't a good sky day. It's a, it's a really nice picture. I'm going to give it a 17. The big blue. Wow. Um, that's just impressive. I love the treatment, the mat matting that they, that whoever did on this really, really complements the shape of this picture, well cropped. Um, no. There, the dune looks so smooth. Why? There's, oh, it's a trail. That's what it is. Somebody's walked up that dune. I saw the little squiggle to the left of the dune, and I'm going, what is that? That's really cool. Um, let's go 18 on that. I really like that. The Mesquite Dunes. 
Well, the clarity on this one is is awesome. The contrast, I, you've got the darks and the lights. The sky is a little bland. But hey, you can't control that type of thing. It's been given a nice treatment. I'm going to give it an 18. Mobius Arch. <clears throat> I really, again, I really, I really like this one. It wasn't taken at the most no, easiest time of day to shoot this because of the hard mm -hmm. shadow on it. However, um, there's the full range of, of grays in this. I think it was a hard time of day to take this without blowing anything out, especially with the snow-capped mountains in the background. Um, I'm going to give it a 19. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have to break a tie between four I, I should, and eight. I should go use more of that range from 17 to 21. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, so we have two 19s so oh, dear. that we, we need to break down into first and second place. So Moby's Mm, oh, that's tough. <sighs> God, there's so much good about <clears throat> both of them. Mobius Arch has more impact for me. When I look at it, it has that more in your, wow, I'm thinking. So I'm going to go with Mobius Arch first. Bug light second. Yes. Or 18s, and we have to uh, choose one of them. As <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making your job really hard. No, actually, this is usually what happens. <laughs> okay. So, one, two. We've had as many as five who tied with a, with a high score, so. Wow. Wait, hang on. Such an impressive group. Um, really, it's just so challenging. Okay. For me, it's really between. Oh, golly. I think I'm going to go with the big dune. Okay. There's a full range of uh, gray to black or white to almost white to black. And the mat is beautiful. Okay. So we have some dunes. <clears throat> Chop Suey by Ed Powell. Covered Bridge by Greg Gowden. Arcadia Coastline by Tony Martindale. The Bug Light by Scott Kelby uh, in second place. Harbor Fort by Scott Kelby. The Big Dune by Cheryl Decker in third place. Wow. Yeah. Mesquite Dune by Powell. Mobius Art. By Greg Dowdy on first place. Okay. There you go. So we finished it. Uh, no, stop sharing. And pretty much the way it goes. It'll be a little longer uh, when we do it on the 
17. Um, okay. Now, when we're doing the competition, I'm going to mute everyone but the judge, the scorekeeper, and the host. So a lot of the background noise we were hearing uh, would not normally show up on the video, like what we heard. Plus, in addition to that, while we were listening to the, watching the video, a lot of you were making noise, rolling around in your chairs. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I should have muted all of you before I even went into share mode. <laughs> but that's pretty much the way it goes. Um, it looks a lot like what we do now in digital in in the meeting room. It's just that the judges, wherever they are in the world, uh, and uh, I'm here, and uh, whoever, is, it's either uh, Elaine or Penny will be the scorekeepers. And then uh, I guess we'll, I'll do my normal thing where I take the winners and put them out on the website. Tony has agreed to edit the video and put it up on uh, our YouTube channel and send everybody or give uh, Rosie the link to email out to the masses. Okay. Or, or I can actually email out the, the, that link myself if, if we want me to do it. So pretty much that's it. And let me see. Can one take? Okay, questions? Nyla, you made it. You made it, Nyla. I made it, yes. I made it. A little late. Yes, Ramona. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. She's Sorry. muted. Okay. Sorry, mute. <laughs> she muted herself. You're a good girl. Thank you for doing that. Um, thanks. So I've got to leave right now because I have another online meeting, but I posted a comment. Um, I don't know about everybody else, but listening to the video uh, competition, I could hear really well the judge and Jim's comments, but I could hardly hear you as far as introducing the images or winning images. It was like you were very, very faint. Yeah. Same, same here. Yeah, we, we noticed that. Uh, we didn't notice that until after we recorded the video. So uh, okay. I'll, I'll work with Tony to make First, sure. First uh, trial so it didn't go that way. I mean, you guys can all hear me clearly now, can you not? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And when we were doing this judging with the judge, everybody could hear me clearly. So I don't know why I was so muted on that video. Okay, well, I just wanted to point it out just in case it would be be affecting the the actual competition for June. Okay. So anyway, well, as long as the well, judge can hear me, it won't affect anything. <laughs> so. All right. To be honest, Craig, you're quite muted as opposed to the rest well, of us anyway. The, the thing it will the thing it will affect is uh, announcing the, the names of the photos and things like that. It, right. Yeah, sending out the video. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. I'm going to say bye. Bye. You guys bye. have time. Good seeing everybody. Bye. 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 I turned up the, the my audio. Am I louder now? Yeah. Yeah, That's but you still sound like you're in the bottom of a tin can. Huh. <laughs> no, I, I would understand if it was the bottom of a beer bottle. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Any questions? I um I've mm -hmm. sent a link to that YouTube video to Ramona. Okay. That she can distribute to the members. No, you have to send it to me. I did. Oh, oh you Rosie. said Ramona. <laughs> yeah, Ramona, Rosie, I mean. Okay. You to send it to, yeah. Um, the the thing is, uh, uh the YouTube. Is, pri is private to the club at the moment, so it's not open to the general public. So oh, without okay. the link, you won't be able to view the, the video. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to send it out to the, I haven't got a general distribution list, so. Yeah, I'll send it out. Okay, yeah. next time we, we get it better. Until such. <laughs> I, I until do such have a question. Yeah, oh, go sorry, ahead. Greg. 
Um, so I do have a question. Is it going to be a separate link for each uh, competition meeting or each video that you're yeah. going to post there? OK, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It certainly will. Unless we can figure out how to make the whole site just available to the yeah. members. Yeah. We haven't well, gotten yeah. permit. We have not Tony, I want permit. Jim, let me finish. We have not gotten permission to put make that public. We want the board's approval that you either keep the that that YouTube site private or we can make it public. If we if we make it public, then all we have to do is give them the, the basic connection address once. Yeah. Right. But t Tony, I, I want to talk to you too about. Um, uh, how how uh, we can let people select particular videos you know, if we make it you know public somebody goes on it they can choose this video or this video or that video right you um, understand what i'm saying yeah i do i mean if we don't make it public i mean uh -huh. the only thing i can suggest is we publish a list of the, the urls uh, the, for each video right because okay that, that url doesn't change Right, and right. So you could say competition meeting, so and so day, judge, yeah. whatever. This is a, the URL for it. Right. Um, yeah. So that's the only way I can see over it the way it is at the moment. Yeah, we put that into a spreadsheet or something. Yes, into a spreadsheet that yeah. could be, or, or it could even be published in the newsletter or, right. or on the website, you know, on our website. That is. Right. Well, then it would be Pub uh, semi public, public if you did yeah. it on the website. Yeah. But um, can't you make, do you, uh, and I don't know anything about YouTube, but is it a, an account that you have to create? Yeah, what what you have to do is uh, create an, uh, an email account, and I'd set one up for the club. Uh -huh. And then um, then once you've got that set up and do a couple other little things, um, you, you uh, just uh, uh, open up um, uh, the uh, YouTube studio from in, within YouTube and you you create your site that way. Yes. And can you um, can you add, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, guests or something to your? There's there you can have owners and managers. And right now I'm the primary owner, and Tony and Greg are uh, secondary owners. Okay. Um, and then managers um, don't have the same permissions that owners have. Like owners can take people off put people on things like that. I don't think managers can do that, but they can they can kind of uh, help uh, you know maintain the site. Okay. We can so, so nothing like guests so that like the club members can be guests to this particular you know YouTube account for the for the club. This is what we need to research. Okay. Right. If we could if we can make it somehow that our members can get to it. Right. But, you know, it's not open to the general public. That's okay. That's something yeah. that we need to look into. See, see if you go, if, if we make it open to the public, then people go up onto YouTube and put in the name of the video, you know, yes. and, and it would come up, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, and so we need to figure out if we want to do that or if there's a way that we can have just the club members yes. act, activate or get onto this unlisted video and choose. Yeah what they want to see. Right. Like the, it would be like theirs, you know, right. like subscribed. So only the club members could subscribe to that yeah. particular. Yeah. Right. Episode. This is what we yeah. need to sort out now. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I've administered uh, YouTube um, channels uh, when I worked for the newspaper because I used to be doing their stuff, but, uh, but, that was open to the public, so this is not something I've explored. Yeah, we're, there's a lot of things you can do um, in, in one way, but it's also restricted um, in, in what you can in, in the flexibility that it has, as far as we know right now. So we've got some research to to, to figure it out. Oh, yeah, okay. great. Yeah, I'm sure we can uh, figure it out. We'll figure it out somehow. We get it to the members, but for the time being, you could distribute distribute the URL for that video. Yes. And if members are interested in seeing it and they'll be able to hear it better anyway. Um, and the good thing about YouTube is it's free. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
And you yeah. can have um, uh, the videos can be up to 12 hours long. Yeah. We can even do live things on there, but we make so many mistakes. We then do that. <laughs> <laughs> we can also share YouTube videos through um, to um, WebEx. Yes. Yeah. True. I, when we went out there and I ran the video that Tony, that was on YouTube. Yep. So, yeah. We can go to any YouTube video and run it through. I'm not sure that's an efficient use of our time for program meetings. No, but I just wondered. If it's a publicly available YouTube video, we should just email everybody the link and <laughs> let them watch it at their own time. Yeah. Right. But we could use YouTube tutorials for photography tutorials, maybe for program meetings, we right? We could. We could. Yes. Yeah. 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 And there's there's a number of really great uh, YouTube um, uh, uh, tutorials. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there so, are. And some of them some of them are half an hour long. Some of them are only 10, 10 or fifteen minutes. So. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Some of mine are like an hour. Yeah. Yeah, no, Pix Imperfect has some really nice videos, and some of them are rather lengthy. Yeah, and they, but they're very clear. Yes, that, uh, Imperfect. He's he's really good. Yeah, all the way from India. <laughs> yeah, Dinesh. Yes, Unmesh. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Comments. Any other well, comments? Great. It was great. You guys did a great job. Okay. All right. It'll be um, it'll be fun to have the real competition, and yeah, hopefully we'll have several entries. Okay. Yeah, and that'll be on the regular competition night, same same time, same place, same channel. Sixteenth, isn't it? Learned about seventeenth. Too many, too many entries. We have to remember that for every ten entries, um, we have an honorable mention. So if we had twenty images for instance we would get two honorable mentions yeah oh. images we would get three honorable mentions so, 60. No, <laughs> <laughs> so in a way we were giving more people a chance to place if they're all in the same category and we have enough entries. yeah i i have a feeling we won't have that many you're oh. right yeah <laughs> yeah there's not too many that have joined the webex tonight so i don't know I know. And and Sharon, uh, Sharon, um, on the um, the competitions that are already taken place, the uh, January February has any decision been made on that, or uh, about whether they're what, what we're going to do with those? Oh, uh, not I'm three. Yet. I'm sorry, Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl, you're you're muted. You're muted. You're muted, Cheryl. There, there you go. Cheryl. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Now? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, no, uh, we may vote on that at the next board meeting, but no decisions were made. Okay. The, the main reason is that, that, that we are in, this, in a particular strange situation. First of all, we have to understand how the competition making this way really works. Then uh, I think the thing that uh, we have to be in this situation from now for, I don't know, I think at the end of the year, so or, uh, I don't know, to be that instead of next week, next month, we come back to the very God. So, this moment, we don't we prefer to arrive to, I don't know, October, November, at that moment, decide exactly what we are. If we make uh, from now to November in this way, what we are doing with the previous, or October, November, we decide the rule for everything. So, yeah, yeah. everything is in this is in the, in the, first of all, I'm quite so sure that when we have the, the competition meeting, we will go in the perfect way, but better to start and see how, how really uh, okay. could be the okay. last I mean, it could be that. Uh, that it is say another piece important how many people we let we don't know could be that we have 10 entries or could be that one moment we have 50 entries 
if we have 58 in the forever category, probably we have to think about what to say. It's okay. good to have only black and white, or uh, we have. So I think it's a good idea. That is you how the things go, and then make a meeting go together, and we decide exactly what we want to do for the end. You know, Flavio, you're out of a job now. You know that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> I still not receive my wages eh, for the January and February. I want to share this. He's just getting a little break. He'll get yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody deserves a break. <laughs> lost Nyla? Is Nyla gone? No, Bob's replaced her. Well, yeah, I, Bob's replaced Bob. her. Still here, there she but, is. Oh, there <laughs> is. Okay. That's what I didn't see. Bob wanted to try the chair out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, it, it is about the break. I remember that this week in the month of June, it was that. Uh, uh, Mr. Ed Powell that has to to, uh, to 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 share the the goodies, the sweet, uh, the chocolate. Uh, Mr. Ed Powell, where are? Well, uh, Ed, Ed has left the meeting. Hey, he, thank you. <laughs> he's eating his refreshments upstairs. Hey, thank computer. you. Exactly. He was. I remember refreshments. Okay, are we done? All right, so I'm done. So, all right, well, anything to say, Alan? We'll get better at this every time. But we, the more we do it, the better we'll get at it. People will understand how the process works a little better, and we will. We need to uh, get people to turn on and off their um, microphones when they're not active. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, think, that's important. So this, this well, particular this 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 meeting here went pretty well, especially <laughs> for the first time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. great. But he was on and um, figured it out. So yay. Okay. Great. Great. You all control the, the microphone. will see you on the seventeenth. Right? Pardon? You will control the microphones during the competition, right? Yep. Yeah, you'll turn. The host can mute commute all. Yes. On demand. One button. Everybody gets muted. Power. Yes. <laughs> uh, he can also expel. Uh oh. <laughs> Rick, wow. Rick, could you try the, to mute us and then we could make a bunch of noise and see if we hear it? Okay. Can you do that right now? Can you hear me? Yeah, because I'm God. <laughs> so, so. That, that works really good. You're back. Yeah, we're back. So yep. if you could be sure to apply that to Tony throughout the whole meeting, that would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now these two women sat behind me here. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah. How did you do that? They haven't moved, Tony. I know. How did you do that? No. I know. I think we're if I remember rightly, we're in San Antonio at the moment. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Top of the train. <laughs> well, I've looked and looked and looked and I cannot find a way to do it on the desktop. But it's a piece of cake on an iPad. Oh, wow. Put your own photo in if you do it on an iPad. Yeah, I have my iPad and I just hit the the videos <coughs> um, at the bottom. The, yeah. the shows the, whether your video's on or off. And it tells me I can do a virtual background. So that's what I have on. Yes. Or you can put but in you your can own also photo. upload your own photo to it. And that's why we kind of here. ghosting around. Yeah. Because of the... Yours is virtual. more ghost. Yours is more ghost-like than Tony's is, though. Yeah, well, I could put a different background, and I maybe look better. I think it just depends how you move. If I click on my video camera, it just says it's going to stop my video. <laughs> is that what you have to do? No, theirs is different. Yeah, 
I'm not going to try it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, in order to do it on a desktop, you have to you have to download programs and uh, forget it. And forget it. Yeah. And if you're on Zoom, you can just do it. Yeah, it's. But, it's like, not a bit. There you go, Penny. I don't know you see in the junk in my house. Is that a yeah. little better? <laughs> that's my, yeah, that's better, Penny. I like that one. Okay. That's great. Those, those, uh, the, the, the irregularities you see are because that background is pretty static. It doesn't get updated all the time. Yeah. For bandwidth reasons. And so when you move, it has to recalculate everything. And that's why you see those. Uh, those ripples and things that you see. Yeah, that's better, uh, Penny. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the white kitchen, whatever it was, looked real, except for a little ghosting. It looked natural. It looked like you could have been at home. Actually, it looked like you were in heaven. <laughs> I thought so too. I was kind of like an angel. <laughs> yeah, I like an angel. Yeah. It's a very, very clean kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm sitting in Bob's office. <laughs> There's a lot of books there. You know what? You There's look, a lot of books. Yes. You and Dave look like you could be sitting in the same room almost. Yeah. Well, yeah, are standing up right. <laughs> Bob's are all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. When you've got right now, Dave and 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 Nyla are in the same boxes. I mean, yeah. Next to each other, and it does look like they could be in the same place. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Well, tell yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you, you and Patty look a lot like Jim because of she has a photo. It looks like a, on her wall too. Yeah. Cool. <laughs>